All right, guys, welcome to the Digital Barbell Podcast. Thank you for taking your time to be here. We appreciate each and every one of you that takes your time to listen to our podcast. Thank you for those of you that leave us reviews, written reviews, or whether you smash the five-star button. If you are watching this on YouTube, you are in for a treat. You're looking at our dog buttons <laughs> up on the table in our camper looking out the window, which brings us to the sponsor of today's episode i didn't even tell you we were gonna have a sponsor the funny thing is you don't you can't see this but you can't even see me it looks like you and buttons are doing a podcast (laughs) (laughs) thanks for being here buttons talk talk to us about training and nutrition uh we're sponsored by cattle guards we uh we're at this uh, we're outside of us we're camping at a place outside of a state park up here north of austin and um we picked this spot in this campground and realized as we were getting set up that there's a cattle guard on the road right behind us. If you don't know what a cattle guard is, it's like an interruption in the road with all these steel tubes that cows apparently don't like to walk across, so you can kind of keep them in. I think they can't walk across them. They're... Yeah, maybe. Yeah, they spin. I think they spin as they walk on them, and then they would... So within like a few upset. minutes of being here, cars are flying over this cattle guard, and it's like extremely loud. Okay, but get down, but... And we, but we never thought like, why is there this cattle guard in the road? Then right before we hit record on this podcast, up comes a cow walking <laughs> like along the cows, side. So that's why they're on the table yes. looking at the cows. Now we know why there's a cattle guard and Buttons and Lacey are extremely interested in <laughs> these cows who are, uh, oh, yeah, that okay. was kind of fun. All right. So, um, you know, a lot of times we have a really well thought out outline and plan for these podcasts You're today make people hit like don't listen today is not one of those days no we have we've been talking about what we want to talk about for a long time but we don't really have like a cohesive theme for this episode we just kind of want to talk about uh what's been going on and how it relates to our health and fitness and maybe how it can you know help you out during times in your life where things are kind of out of the norm so to speak uh, we recorded a podcast with Patrick Cummings and John Gilson this morning for their podcast, Optimal Agency, and we kind of got into, you know, what is it like, you know, running digital barbell? Mm-hmm. What is it like on a day-to-day basis? Like, how does it fit into our lifestyle? Has that changed over time? What are the challenges of it? And a lot of it is kind of like got this just thus thinking about mm-hmm. a lot of things being well, on this trip. Can you can you give a brief overview? I mean they hopefully they have people listen to their podcast too because they have a really cool concept mm-hmm. of what having agency over your life is. Lacey get down. Yeah. Um can you can you really quickly like just give that overview of like what that means? Like what does it mean to have agency over your life? Yeah. So their definition of agency is really just having uh, not being subject to somebody else's idea of what you should be doing with uh, parts of your life, mm-hmm. having autonomy over the choices that impact the direction of your life. And they break it down into three categories, health, wealth, and time. Mm-hmm. How do we get agency over those three categories? Basically, I think of it as control, like how, mm-hmm. right, like agency and the word agency and control can kind of yeah go in and out. So how Freedom, do you, control. Yeah, how do you get kind of control a, kind of, over your time? How do you get control over your wealth? And how do you get control over your health? Yes. And then within each of those categories, they have rules that you can follow to optimize your agency in that category and then the behaviors that support that so yeah there if yeah y'all should check out their podcast it's very like it's very Mm thought-provoking i think as we we listen to them on some drives out here and stuff and i'm like wow and people love having rules so if you like to be a rule follower you want to know what to do check it out for sure okay so i can probably start this conversation by just rewinding a week to recording this podcast in uh, Port Aransas and Mm -hmm. straight up asking you at this point in the journey, how do you feel about it? Is this something that you could potentially do full time to live in this camper? Do you remember how you answered that question? A hundred percent. Yes. I was just like, I didn't even have to think about it. I was just like, yes. Yeah. (laughs) And then a lot of things have changed in the Mm -hmm. week since then. And uh, there's been like, there's been some highs Mm -hmm. since then, but there's been some lows also and it's had made us had all these conversations about like you know what are the priorities in our life what matters to us what's important to us you know what what gives us stress what makes Mm -hmm. us feel like we have agency in different parts of our life and what do we feel like is moving us forward and what do we even want to move forward to it is a lot of things well and, and I that's think why it's been stressful to me it's like what are like kind of like what are your in a, in a week's time i've kind of figured out like what are my like non-negotiables for my for my daily life mm-hmm. you know i i don't you know 
I think, you know, all of us want like health and wealth and time and, and, and like, you know, yeah. but what does that and, mean? And, 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 I, and I, I like, I was thinking about this last night. I was just like, yes, while, you know, as we coach our clients and as we live our own life, of course, we want to be as healthy as we can so that we can have longevity in our life, you know, stave off like dependence on others and all, mm-hmm. all the things. But I, when I really think about it, I think about like, it, you, you know, even if we do all of the right things, like we're not guaranteed this like lifespan of X number of years. So I think that like the, to me, like, what do I do every day? Um, and how does that make me feel every day? Like I really want to like make every day good. <laughs> yeah. You want to make, <laughs> and not like you that. make choices that like, make you feel your best Yeah, and make that a good, you know. And what I mean by that, this kind of sounds confusing probably, but what I mean by that is like for me daily, like I've figured out that like, you know, having some activity every day is like really important to me. It makes me, it makes me feel good. That's it. You know, it makes me just yeah. feel good. And that can just mean like getting in 10,000 or more steps in a day, or, you know, it can mean like doing a good workout or it can mean a lot of different things. But like, I know that like getting activity in is important to me and where we live in our house, we have a gym office, atorium, I like to call it. <laughs> and like, even if it's the worst weather, it's snowing, it's raining, it's whatever outside we can get over there. Snowing. <laughs> we can get into that gym space and we have access to like activity in a way mm-hmm. we have a walking pad, we have a gym, like even if it's, we can't get outside for a week, we could, we could get activity in. Yeah. And I think that one, that's one thing that I'm learning about the camp life is that like I have less control over that piece of my life because I'm subject to the weather I have a very tiny space here that I I could not walk 10,000 steps (laughs) (laughs) probably if I tried um and even if I want even if the weather is perfect and I and it's you know just like oh I can't wait to go go work out outside like someone could park right next to us mm-hmm. and like be sitting outside and like I wouldn't feel comfortable or yeah. the grass could be gross or there's some sewer hose right there or there's just so many like factors that can prevent me from that one thing that's like a non-negotiable in my life is like getting in some activity. Mm-hmm. And at the same time, like it makes us realize that, you know, the way that we eat is something that we can replicate mm-hmm. here on the road too and at least yeah. give ourselves that stability yeah that's Uh, another one for me is like that way i move how much i move and and how much and how i eat mm -hmm. and i think traveling like this makes the eating one easy it makes it easier than like going to hotels and things like that because you have your kitchen and your food and your oven and your stove with you um yeah on the road and like there's we eat exactly the same as we do at home on the road you know so that one is easy Mm -hmm. that one is easy and the other one is harder. Yeah. So, but like, okay, it's harder, but like, why have we, like, why have we been kind of stressed out over the last week? Like we, we talked about this on the drive the other day, just that trying to make a bunch of decisions mm-hmm. and, and research stuff and figure stuff out and like not have a plan. We've learned that that is super stressful yeah, I mean, for us. There's a thing called decision fatigue. And I, I mean, I think wasn't mm-hmm. there like, um, isn't it like the reason Einstein never like brushed his hair and then like some or people wear the Steve same, Jobs wear the same wear shirt the same every day. Shirt cause, and I was talking, I was thinking about like, you know, when we, when blockbuster movies and all those things used to be a thing, like the place where you go rent movies. Yeah. The, you walked into that store. If you wanted to rent a movie for the night, you went, you walked into that store and there was a lot of options, but that was, you went to that store for your movie mm-hmm. selection and you were going to come out with a movie. It might have taken you 30 minutes to look around, but that was it. And today, like if we're going to watch a movie, there's like endless amounts of apps that you can choose from. So number one, you're like, okay, which app do I even want to yeah. start with? Do I want to watch a movie? Do I want a TV show? Do I want a YouTube thing? And, and then from there, then we have to drill down to all like this whole universe of movies at our disposal. And it on, it's like, decision fatigue you know and i think that that's kind of like what we've been feeling with this like journey Mm -hmm. it's like we thought that it would be a good idea to make one week one week of reservations and then wing it from there and i didn't think about because i thought being locked into a a, like if i had made a month of reservations i thought being locked into that schedule would be way more stressful it would probably have been way less stressful 
unless there was some sort of like weather or traffic situation where we couldn't get to A to B. But like having an endless number of options. Yeah, just is open exhausting. your open the map app on your <clears throat> phone, zoom out to like a hundred mile radius and type in R V park and let Not it Not even pop. that. It's like we don't we didn't really like we weren't like we're gonna go from a point a to point b we were just like we're gonna stay out in the camper Mm -hmm. so not just like having an endless number of rv parks in the areas we're in it's like what area do we even want to go in like show the whole state of texas or show show the whole anywhere that is drivable it's just like i think that that's been the really the hardest part is like and i'm realizing that i need like a lot more structure not like start i don't think i don't even know if structure is the right word but and this would probably be something like Haley pointed out when we were talking to her this morning like this would probably be something that we would get better at mm-hmm. over time but it's a good reminder that when you're you could tie this into somebody trying to make changes with their nutrition or start yeah. a workout oh, program sure. like just like google like how to get in shape or what to eat to be healthy and it's like completely overwhelming the choices are unlimited and like just feeling that like lack of knowing what to do and there's all these things that you could try and then you worry like what if i invest time you know researching this and then i try it and it doesn't work for me like you know what a waste of time like you know it's it can be overwhelming Mm -hmm. if you don't have like a structure to follow and i think it's a good reminder for me as a coach to make sure that i continue to give people a clear framework to follow to make sure they know where they're going uh so that it's like you know reassuring that there <clears throat> that there is a plan yeah and that that's that's just so true i never really thought about that like yeah the the options of like how to get you know in shape if you're trying to start a workout program are endless yeah and and just like not knowing and i think that's why like like a lot of our clients do come from like referrals and i think that that's why that is such a helpful thing is like even this if like someone was like hey if you guys want to spend three weeks in Texas, I recommend these places. Yeah. We probably would have just done that because it's so, it's so much easier to be like, oh, that person referred it. Mm-hmm. I I trust that person. I just don't want to figure this out on my own. Yeah. And I think that that's yeah, that is like a lot of what we do with our clients is help them figure it out without them having to go about it. Yeah. One of the things you were talking about on the podcast is like we you know when we realized we needed to like you know, now that we're working for ourselves, like save for retirement, we were like, okay, we need to do this. And until we like hired a coach and like started to get help with like how to dial that in, we didn't do it. And so, so often like having, having a guide, if you will, like helps you just helps you like narrow down the choices. Yeah. (laughs) There's also been this like weird dynamic, you know, if you don't already know, like we set out to spend about a month out in the camper just to see what it would be like to try to maintain our health, our fitness, Mm -hmm. our workload, basically living that life. That Mm -hmm. that was the original plan. But we didn't want to just drive to an RV park 45 minutes from our house and sit there for a month. Like, you know, that would probably be closer to the reality of what we would be doing if we lived in this thing full time. But that just seemed like a waste of a month to test out. Yeah. So that's why we kind of set off without a plan. But in our mind, it's kind of confusing because you feel like, well, I need to take advantage of the fact that I'm doing this. So I need to be like doing this stuff, which puts even more pressure on you to research things to do. Um, And that's been challenging for us because Mm -hmm. we're not willing to like let our work slide. We're not willing to let our fitness slide, Mm -hmm. our nutrition slide, but we put this pressure on ourselves to be doing the thing you know, and there's the whole the thing aspect you're supposed of like, to do in that city. Like when you go to the city, you should go here and there and right. eat this and that. And yeah, there will definitely be that pressure. I think anywhere, and, anywhere that we travel to and the like, pressure to yeah. like, you know, for better or for worse to like document it on social media, like <laughs> make it look, you know, like Instagram, Instagram worthy, Instagram <laughs> worthy or like, you know, hashtag van life yeah. or whatever. And like, we've failed miserably at that yeah. so far because it just has been more of a challenge than we thought it would be Mm -hmm. up until this point. But, you know, it's working out. Like, Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not really willing. We're still here. We're still here. I'm not willing, I'm not ready to make a decision either way, like Mm -hmm. personally right now. But, you know, it's it's forced us to have some conversations that we haven't had recently or before. And I think like we talked, we got into this with the guys just now in Optimal Agency, but like, you know, I talk often, with uh, digital barbell clients that like 
you know, I always am like, just do burpees and everything will be better, <laughs> kind of like as a joke. But like, I do really think there is something to like challenge yourself with doing hard things. And that's why I love CrossFit so much, because it's this hard thing that you can do every day that like strengthens your mindset. Mm -hmm. And I think honestly, without CrossFit in my life for the last decade or so, I wouldn't even be able to do this because my, I was so not in a place where I could do hard things mentally mm -hmm. before finding CrossFit. And now that I have like still like it's still like two days ago, we almost went home, mm -hmm. you know, and I knew that like Tell everybody if, the story about what happened is mildly entertaining. Well, and just knew that if we went home like that, that we might never pull this camper out again. <laughs> and I knew I needed to like see through the dip and get to the other side of it and like go through this hard this hard test. And like, you know, you probably are looking at like you're sitting in an Airstream camper like not a, you know, in like, oh, how is this is so, so, how is this so hard? And I think it, like, it comes back to those things that like, you know, what's hard what's, for us is not hard well, for no, you and vice versa. No, that's, it's just like, what, what are the, what are the things that like are important in your life? Like we mm. were talking about earlier and like, how do, how do those like, how, how are those things being challenged right now? Yeah. You know, like, so what happened is, you know, we, we made that week of reservations, um, around our anniversary and we went down to the beach and that was a different location than we live. We live in the whole country. We don't live on the beach. So we were in a different place. We were at a, a very comfortable RV park. Um, we had access to a little gym. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, we were just very, very comfortable there. We came back up toward the hill country. We didn't have reservations. We we're like just basically drove as far as we wanted to drive and then found a place to stay. And this, you know, the, the spaces were tight. We like the way that it was set up, like you walk out of our door and then the sewer hose for the other camper is an old couple. They're just retirees, adorable, very nice people. But their sewer hose was right there by our little picnic table on our back door. And we wanted to do the open workout, all that kind of stuff. And it was just like, I literally just like, it, it's weird. It's, it sounds so stupid saying it out loud, but it made me like kind of freak out. Like I don't have control over the things I want to do. What do I want to do this weekend? I want to be able to do the open workout. I want to be outside enjoying some sun. I want to like, you know, be active. And like, I, I saw those three things like being crushed. Mm -hmm. I was like, why am I here? Yeah. Like the, the things that I hold important are being, uh, are like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't be active. I can't get out here and do a workout. I can't go for a walk. Like it was just like a circle, like, you know, mm -hmm. like all the things that I can just do at home are being crushed. Like, but we, we, we've, we got through it. We even stayed an extra night there. We ended, we got in trouble for having our rug touch the grass, but we pulled <laughs> the rug off the grass back onto the dirt and did our burpees on the dirt. And it was, it was fine. It ended up to be fine. And then I had made reservations at a place like an hour north of there because they had like a little bit more room. Like I was like, we like a little, you know, a bigger RV park. It had pickleball. It had basketball courts. It, it looked like it, it was like, oh, this is even better. It was affordable. And we, when we got there, we drove in and this, they have like super trendy signage. And then you roll in and I'm not going to say the name of it, but I don't want to call him out. Not sponsored. <laughs> not sponsored. <laughs> and it was, it, so we've realized in this camping world that you have to have places with rules. People play, when you go to a place and they have like, here's rules one through 25, go there. That's a good place. <laughs> Even if you're going to get in trouble for your rug touching your grass, they, those rules are in place for a reason because this other place had no rules and people had couches and office chairs and furniture and junk all over the place. They had their the, house outside of their the, camper. The, the, the park was like not mowed and it was like all the benches were falling apart and, and like, it was just in some complete disarray. Didn't look like that online. Didn't look like that online. And, and I, I would, I couldn't believe, honestly, I couldn't believe it. I was just like, we didn't even pull in. We like, we pulled in, we drove to like, we I checked in, we drove to where our spot was. Cause we, you didn't see it at first. They have like all the, the amenities up front with like mm -hmm. four airstreams and all this that makes it look nice. And then you pull in where you're actually going to stay and you start to see that. And I was like, <laughs> I won't even be comfortable like walking the dogs around here. Like I, like I was like, don't back in. Mm -hmm. We just drove back to the office. I walked in, I said, I don't want to stay here. And the guy just looked at the manager and he just goes, give her a full refund. <laughs> like they knew, they knew. Probably like it the was, there was not even happened. like a beat. Literally I told Jonathan, I, 
I, he had a paperwork on his desk that said how to give a refund. <laughs> like, like it must not be the first time or the last time that it's that happened. The first happened. thing they teach a new employee. <laughs> I mean, literally, that's what happened is that's the guy funny. looked over at the manager and he just goes, full refund. And this was the moment where we were like, yeah. you were like, well, we talked, like, do you want to just go Should home? Should we just go home? We were an hour and a half from where we live. Like, yeah. it would have been... I was like, let's just reset. Like, let's take a week, you know, uh, and, and John was like, we'll never do this again. If we, not that we'd never do it again, but like, right. like it, it was, it was an adversity we had to get through. I mean, super sub optimal situation, which is honestly just a part of life. It's just yeah. a microcosm of all the challenges that we face mm -hmm. from day to day. Yeah. And as you were telling the story about the, the other place in Fredericksburg with, you know, the getting in trouble about having the mat on the grass, um, like those times are like the most tempting time to fall into the all or nothing mentality. Mm -hmm. And that like we talked about today earlier this morning, it's the thing that holds all of us back. Like, what are we going to do when we run into a suboptimal set of circumstances mm -hmm. that truly are out of our control? Are we going to bounce back to whatever bad habits we had in the past? Are we going to use the all or nothing mentality to say like, <clears throat> you know what, this is not going to be perfect. I'm just going to skip it and mm -hmm. quote, get back on track later. Or are we going to try to find a way to do something that resembles what we plan to do, you know, anyway. Yeah. And that is the thing that like get not only gets you the results that you want, but like pushes yourself mentally so that, you know, you can get through those challenges next time. So you got down and you were not in a good mood, but you did, you did your workout and like, you know, we made the best of it. Got me in a better mood. And it, yeah, you, I, one thing I learned about Blakely is if I can just get her to work out, if she's not in a great mood, she will be in a good mood. And that's why I, and, and that's, I, I, it probably sounds silly even talking about all this stuff, but that is when really why I like, that is one of the things I value is, is I know that like getting a lot of times outside and doing something physical just re like resets my mindset. Mm -hmm. And, and like when I saw that all crushing in on me, I was just like, that's why it made me kind of like freak out yeah. both inside and out <laughs> because I was just like, why am I doing this to myself? Yeah. You know, um, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I hope that somebody listening to this can just, I mean, I hope it doesn't sound stupid. The things that we're dealing with, yeah. you know, like it might, it might sound like first world problems. And it is, it, it is. is ultimately, <laughs> but you know, I think the point of it that we want to bring across is like figure out what your priorities in life mm -hmm. are, like figure out what your non-negotiables are and be willing to like sit in some uncomfortableness if those truly are the things that you want for yourself mm -hmm. and try to like, you know, adjust your life as much as you can to make doing those things as easy as, as possible. Yeah. And not that we need to like be like testing ourselves all the time, but it is, it is good right now to be like, like flexing our skills of like, like we do have it easy at home. Like mm -hmm. we have, we live in a, we, and that's another piece of this is we, I really, we really like where we live. We like the city that we live in. We like the house that we live in. It's not ours though. We don't, we rent it. And so I know that it doesn't even make sense to like rent this house forevermore. And I think that has a lot to do with while we're doing this because we're like, you know, even though like I want this to be my home forever, like it's not mine. And do you think our landlord listens to this <laughs> <Maybe>. podcast? <laughs> <laughs> but that being said that like you know it's easy for us to uh, it's easy for us to work out and as coaches that's not the best thing because i we can't be like just do your workout we like we we work out like we turn around and our gym is behind us in right. our office and i know that for our clients it's not that easy mm -hmm. like they have their schedule with their kids they have to go to a gym they have you know to you know all these They're obstacles tired, in the way whatever of getting to their fitness and nutrition. Mm -hmm. And I think that like, if it's something that you hold as a value to you, like finding a way mm -hmm. and, and that's what we've really been challenged with on this journey. Like yesterday was a great example. We, we worked, you know, when you're in a camper, like when you, when we, like the bedroom is right there and then the kitchen's <laughs> right there and the desk, you is can here. see the whole thing from and, anywhere. And, you, and uh, the, like, you know, like yesterday we decided that we were going to like, work until like 11 go there's like a state park like 10 minutes from here and i'm trying to collect a bunch of state park stamps and my little state park passport but um uh go walk around the state park for like a mile or so with the dogs to get some ex steps in and activity in before it got too hot and then come back and finish up the work day mm -hmm. and that was just a great way to like break up the day 
whole like kind of plan like help us plan like put it on a calendar like yeah. okay we're gonna work till 11 we're gonna take our break and go walk and then come back have lunch and and then finish up the day yeah like we made the our activity a calendar event you know kind of idea and, and did then, what it, like aligns with your values right you know, to be active yeah and i i mean like i've you know i would say overall in the last two weeks on this trip i've i did get sick so mm -hmm. like a little bit of i was like okay i not super i'm not gonna i'm not gonna push it like my workouts but like i've st been able to stay pretty yeah. regular with my workouts even in different circumstances which i think is like I'm, I'm proud of yeah. personally, but I think it's a good, it's a good challenge to face because it's just like, it is, it is important to me yeah. to do that, every, you know, do that every day. Yep. Anything you want to say to wrap up? <laughs> I, I, I warned at the beginning. Of this, I hope this was like made little, sense at all. Yeah. Buttons and Lacey are having the time <laughs> they, of their life. They love this conversation. So they're, they're like, do it, do it. <laughs> they that are. I will say for, I was a little bit worried about them too, because you know, I feel like they were, they were going to feel like very captive in here. They are like exhausted. They're like, please don't let us just stay in the camper. Like, because we're, you know, purposely taking them for walks. They're like in a new environment. So they're just like, what's going on? What's going on here? You know? Yeah. And like when we're at home in, in the office, like they sleep probably they four sleep. or five hours. But, you know, here yeah. with the door open or like us going in and out, they're just awake yeah. a lot more. So by eight o'clock at night, they are ready to go to bed and they're wiped. Yeah. So they're, they're they're on board if we decide to spend more time in here. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, send us a message. Let us know if you want more like of this kind of less <laughs> structured content. If you didn't let us know also, and we'll get back to talking about uh, push-ups. Oh, check in. Oh, we were going to talk about the, I, I just put it on Instagram, but like we were going to talk about a cut, like some just like workout ideas. Okay. Go for it. Because I, I do think it's like, you know, next week for a lot of people is spring break and you really don't have to have that much with you to like stay consistent. If you have like, you know, an outdoor rug and you can pull it out and, and do your, yeah. do your workout. So yesterday I did, cause I didn't, Jonathan decided he was going to be brave enough to run up and down this RV strip of 20 campers for two and a half miles 30 minutes or whatever i was like no i'm not gonna run in front of all these people for t an hour so <laughs> or 30 minutes so i did i stayed at the camper i did like um you can do four to six rounds of 50 jumping jacks uh 15 swings kettlebell or dumbbell and then 10 burpees it was a great workout yeah oh you know what we have the uh 10 free travel workouts yeah. resource on our yeah, website we too that a link to that in the show notes for this <clears throat> yeah because you know if you're traveling in a car you can you know bring a, like at least a pair of dumbbells or uh, some bands. adjustable dumbbells if you're traveling on a plane or something like that or you don't have that much space some bands and you can really like i mean i've been a little bit sore like <laughs> yeah. bring in hip circle bring some bands and if you have the ability bring weight you know just yeah. a little bit of weight and I, you know, I haven't, I haven't missed the barbell or like, you know, I feel, I feel good with yeah. what we've been doing. Same here. I've been, I've been following, um, full body remodel Yep. and it's been great. I like really haven't had to adjust anything. Like when we were in the, um, the, the, I want to call it like the old folks, place. <laughs> but that place with the little gym, it was yeah. mostly old people oh, that beach. vacationed there, but it was it was adorable and they had you know they had a good assortment of things but their dumbbells were not very heavy so for like squat day we did they had like a leg press machine leg extensions, leg extensions and then hip extensions and uh, it was great yeah it was fun mm -hmm. but the and the uh, 10 free travel workouts for all no equipment. yeah no so equipment. if you're going somewhere and you don't you can't bring weights you can just bring some i don't even know if you have you need bands for those travel workouts but yeah i'll put the link to mm -hmm. download those in the show notes for this all right all right that really is the end hope you guys have a good day